that, definitely. Oh definitely. my gosh, I am. I'm, I'm still trying to process what just happened. I need to go watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch that. It, it was it was ridiculous, man. Even Charlie kind of like wound himself back a little bit. Like, what did I just do? If I don't see that on the highlights oh, match list somewhere, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> All right, well, let's go on to here. Uh, Eon versus Syro. Syro is definitely one of those players that has been on a come up as of late. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the track's true so far. So I'm actually curious to go ahead and see if Cryo goes in and puts out his boy. Or if we're going to go ahead and see Eon's track true. Uh, Joker. Yeah, uh, so far, Joker has been the pick for Eon. He's kind of, he still has a Fox. I'm pretty sure I've yeah, seen Yeah, he that. used it early today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll still have like a Pichu every now and then. But hey, man, we'll see how this, we'll see how this Joker goes against Zuo. They're starting off with a pretty good combo with that, that string that he actually put up to 63% of his prior. Prior already putting it back, just chipping back to, the, to almost 46%. Nice. Cyro gets away from that opportunity for to give Eon the combo. Jab to Rar Bear. Wow. Here's the edge guard situation. And he holds it still because he's able to actually shield through Aegon. Let's see, Eon's going to try to clean out the stock while he still has a, has a, has a persona out. If you think about both characters too, right? Like the fact that Roy has so much damage output and so much uh, strength within the inner hitbox of that sword, and then you think about Joker, how much damage he has at close range. This is pretty much even. I'm sorry. Did you, did you just go ahead and see uh, Roy go ahead and make that grab completely whiff, and then and then Joker was able to just grab him. <laughs> so, back row? No, that's not gonna be it. 160. He has to go for that low recovery there. And he's oh. Unable to tag. That actually surprised me that it's not been a attacking situation. Well, the thing about gun too is that, it, or take aim. The thing about take aim is the fact that like it registers more as a physical hitbox rather than a projectile. Mm -hmm. So you have to be really like under, like you can't absorb it. You can't. You can probably like reflect it, but you cannot absorb it. Right. Nice. Wow. Oh, this is big. What a corner carry right there. I like that weight. He looked at the meter. That's how you know. But there we go. Something are set. Oh, so, so close. That would have been started. Good back here right there. That would have been the stop. That would have. If it had actually connected. If it had connected. Tech chase. Nice. He's barely missing. Saro definitely messing around here with the spacing here because he knows what he needs to get here to get the stock. Back throw just as just as a it, wow, I got it. A beat? Yeah. The tech. Seeks in an upper from the ledge too. You know, was not ready for that one. Forward throw. Sets up the edge guard. Could he be looking for a forward throw or an up throw? I like that. Makes Elon feel safe that he had the space to roll, but it never was there. <laughs> I like how that actually worked out. It was really deceptive too. Jumps on the platform. The young goes ahead and gets that good up attack. I just like how Crash was chasing around the field with the sword. This was kind of oppressive almost. Yeah. Stage carry right there. Leon needs to go ahead and try to find a way back. Nice, good dash dance. It's another one. There goes the forward tilt. Cyro forced to go low. I like oh. the fact that he sets up that counter there because it definitely would have taken care of Cyro on the come up. But just Cyro is actually really smart, very aware of it. Yeah. You're gonna kill. We had 88 percent for Eon. That's it's, a great. It's very doable. It's doable. He, no, it's good for Cyro to actually employ that tactic on the Angel platform. Just wait it out. Honestly, it's gonna get rid of our sin pretty soon. Right. Oh, tech chase. Oh wow. This is big. Gets him on the corner. Cyro unable to land, but he finally sneaks himself back in. Ooh. This is another really good tilt for Ledger. It might. It might be able to kill. Nice. He just keeps throwing him back off the stage. That was great tracing. Great tracing. Gets the pivot forward tilt. And it's honestly, it was due to the fact that he did not let go of himself on the ledge. Sometimes Jokers like to go ahead and sneak in to take aim. They'll like to go for Aha, Force you to get hold on his shield and then try to come back on the stage. But there, Cyro knows, if I just keep grabbing him and keep forcing him off the stage and just hold myself here, this edge guard will be all in my favor, and Eon will get desperate enough to go for this option and not hit him with the forward tilt when he feels like he has to. Still, Eon. 
He was a little tired after that. He's just truly reflecting on the last game, but he's literally nods his head, shaking agreement. Already got the fox out for this. It should yeah. be interesting to see. This is best of five, so both players each have three games to do it. So that should be a little bit difficult, you know, with that spate. With that, that sword, it's going to be difficult to get in. But if he can get his in, he'll get his in. The thing about Fox is like he's so good at look at this damage already, 61%. Mm -hmm. so he's got a great nair, great tools to go ahead and make work. Dash attack. Really good. Slightly different than Smash 4, but something not at the same time. Wow, nice. Naren up smash. That was a great explosive first set stock. The thing about Fox that he's able to do is the damage output and how fast he can. Honestly, it's one of those things that make Fox still such a great character in general. Especially against Roy, who doesn't have that... He does have that fast damage output, but compared to Fox, who has the Vortex still, it's going to be pretty tough for Roy to get out to. Look at how much damage yet again Eon has started. Yeah, he's already overlapping him in the next stock. Exactly. This is actually really fun seeing how explosive and fast he can put up his burst options. Oh, that was Ooh, good. Oh my god. Yeah, the neutral get him, man. Cyro kind of shakes himself a little bit here. He felt the heat on that one because that down smash had a little bit of a wrench in it. I know, but it, it's just it's just interesting to see how quickly he's just cleaning up these stocks. Yeah. This ain't mainly Fox. Mainly it's, Fox. It's it's the, it's the, a, this is so quick, though. It's the fact that, like, Roy has that fall weight that it's perfect for Fox to just combo. And not only that, like, he keeps trying to come back on the stage that way. So if you're to retreat to the ledge and try to find a different situation, things might change. He just beefies the up right through to hit him. He ain't scared of nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got nothing to lose, right? When the, when the chips are down, time to start sticking out those options there. Help smash out of the shield. All from a misspaced option from Syro. Wow. This is an incredible Fox play. Wow, yeah. he just reads that he's going to drop shield and just up smashes him. Wow, what a turnaround game set. It's so different from the first game. Different, man. This is a whole different Eon. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like a whole different Eon. You haven't even begun to see Eon's true form. Yeah, like wow. that's... <laughs> I'm sorry. That man, man definitely changed his persona, for sure. <laughs> like, the minute he like, was like, all right, fine, man. Joker didn't work. Let's go Fox. Okay, hold the phone. Hold the phone. We got Falco now? Man, he called the lifeline. Oh, he, he double tapped the, the air pod. He was like, yo, send in Falco. Personally, I prefer this air. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, back at home watching this, uh, Cyro did start off as a Falcon main back in the Smash 4 days. Wow. He was, yeah, he was known for uh, to be a Falcon back in the day. I mean, this matchup has historically not been... In in Brawl, it was more of like Falco's favor, but in this game, in the past few years, Smash iterations, it has been more of a Fox matchup. This is but, still really entertaining. I already love how this back and forth is already playing out. Yeah. Wow, down air into that, into that up air. Not quite be able to kill with that. Oh, wow. wow. So great. This exchange is already incredible. Did he go for the upper? Nice. Tries to go for the upper immediately from the ledge. This feels really melee. I'm just going to say it. He he goes for that wall jump there for a, for a back air check, and that was really good. All right. Has to go for the low recovery. Great tech. Wow. This is already an incredible back and forth. I'm, I am loving this. Yeah, this so is just a little recovery fun. yet again. No, no, but unfortunately the start up in the up B. Let's see if I can crack and go ahead and uh, take this next stock. Put that back with that wow. was good. That was good. He had so much pressure on the platform that EO would need to get out, and then the minute he did, there was a punish. And this music already sounding like an anime fight battle. I'm red I'm loving it. It's just going in sync with what's going back and forth. It does seem like uh definitely one of those final battle themes. <laughs> from, it's, a, it's it's from Ball. It's the fun it's the final boss battle from Ball. <laughs> Already loving this final boss battle. Yeah. Oh. Like a dash attack. Neither player letting up with that. Parry, but on an up air string to go start after that. Nice, I like that. He kind of stalled himself there on the second jump to go for an aerial. Oh, just barely missing that until the spot dodges. Gets that up tilt in the up air. They're not going to get the back air that he was hoping for. Good parry, and he can great punish. Doesn't get too much off of it, but the upper and they're finally able to connect. All right, so I was gonna watch the top of the landing here, especially against Fox. Side B, he has to go low, and he would have reversed. So punishes Eon for making that edge guard. This is so it's great. Not... I'm loving this. This is such a great back and forth. 
Oh, oh my gosh. It, it was a roll. It was a roll. I, I don't even care who wins. The fa I've already won just by watching. <laughs> I, I'm loving this. This is so entertaining. I didn't expect to go ahead and see that and lose your semis. Solid there. patience there, but unfortunately that's the one thing that caused him the damage that he received. Like nice, and he waits on the direction of air dodge. Oh, wow. This is already intense. The percent is so close. The, the play is parry. almost even able to go ahead and keep this back and forth momentum. When is it actually going to go and stop? One of them has to go ahead and take the charge lead. It's, you know, it's 90%. I can't even tell who's going to actually yeah. win this. Oh, my gosh. Was, Did he just was, win this? No, 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 not yet. It's not over yet. Yeah, it's over. It that was really good because he kind of understood, like, if he's going to go for the direction of the tech on this forward air, there's only one other direction he'll be sent. And Zyra responded and then knows the low recovery is going, going to be the next option. Literally, literally, Eon was reading the textbook when the class had already advanced. <laughs> <laughs> and Zyra already took the test and passed. <laughs> so that's that was the, that was what happened there. He already checked all his moves, already made the, already called checkmate, and all that was left for is for Eon to walk into that spot. Uh, and feel the capitalization once again. Fox versus Falcon here. I, I told you guys. Oh, we get more of this? I'm ready. It's loser. It's loser semis. Best of five here. So we'll see uh, how things go in the next game. I'm so excited. I just want more of this. Just keep giving me more Fox and Falco. This was incredible. The different options that they're already going in experiencing that the tech level of trial is Falco. But at the same time, Eon's burst options is just so electrifying. I love this match. Yeah, especially on, on a tripod like Town and City, right? This is definitely something Fox and Falcon can both benefit to. And giving giving spaces platforms can be a pretty uh, pretty, pretty dire depending on the on your character. There, but what a tech chase from Eon! He immediately understands that he's got nowhere to go but to the tech chase here, and have a follow up with a forward smash. Okay, did a great job putting him off stage already. 18 percent, just barely missing that forward. So, so Eon can go ahead and punch the dash attack. I didn't tell you that shine would have caught me off guard, but it didn't. It didn't catch Eon off guard. You know what didn't catch um, off guard there was the fact that Cyro went for a get up attack, <laughs> knowing that Eon was looking for a back at the platform. That was great reaction. You're right. You're right. Ooh, wow. No yeah, cross up on that side D anymore. I, I like the adaptation that, that that Eon's making. This is already incredible. Taking two stocks. It's not. It's just barely been a minute. Yeah, smaller stages bring out smaller stages and bigger stages can definitely change the dynamic of how the characters play and how the players are able to adapt for it too. Great angle, but he doesn't able to get the connect on the stage. Well, they both just went ahead and tried to do a super for that. Let's let's go. Yeah. Little recovery here. Oh. This is with the up smash and Eon pushes his own, taking the, that, that game. Each time Eon makes an adaptation, man, he just doesn't. He not only takes the game, but he takes all three stocks. <laughs> like, that was what happened the last time. Cyro won game one here, then Eon won the other one, three stocks, and then Cyro wins the next game. Eon three stocks and back in kind. Yeah, no, this is actually an incredible back and forth. What an entertaining set. I'm interested to see if Cryo continues to go with Falco or if he goes ahead and makes another character change. Goes back to the Roy. All right, interesting seeing if Eon already memorized the adaptations from last time. Three, two, one, go! Now he's starting out. The Barry. All right, so at this point here, Cyro is coming right back to the Roy. I mean, we're seeing, we're seeing Eon honestly continue almost the trend that he had the last time he placed the Roy. This time it's on Battlefield. And finally, though, Cyro gets some percent here. And what a great wow. neutral beat. Punishes Eon for not snapping the ledge that way. And he has to go no other direction. At that point, Eon did want to go for the low recovery there, too. Up air. Nice. He's saving that double jump to try to come back on the stage, but he comes back center stage. That's the thing about Fox. You never want to try to land on top of Fox. You kind of have to respect the fact that he's fast enough to catch you, both either up air or back air. He has to make a play for the ledge here. All right. But the patience here. Using the platform to come back and take center stage. What a great reversal. That was a really great chase. I saw that you oh. were trying to run away. Oh, wow. Up smash. Already loving it. Man, he looked he look like something about Fox. Have you ever seen those kind of videos already? <laughs> right, he makes it feel like Fox is never gone. So a great character. Character you believe in. Well, I'll be able to poke out of the shield here. 
Uh, I know if I had these headsets up, I would still hear that controller clank. <laughs> yes. okay, no ledge jump. Oh wow, a dash attack into up tilt. Look, that Cyro goes back to the ledge. He wants that invincibility. He'll save, but unfortunately, picking the platform to land again, that's such a big punish. He has to go back to the ledge. Great, great choice. We're going on the platform, trying to take back center stage. It's a tug of war between that, right? Because who holds center stage usually holds more of the advantage, especially in this matchup against Fox, where the vortex is very strong. Ooh, wow. Oh, he sneaks in that upper from the ledge. Such a great sneak. Cryo just going in, brute forcing his way back onto the stage. Gets that neutral egg. Oh wow, just oh, misses. He, yeah, he misses. What a bunch of flubbery back and forth and just taking that up smash. <laughs> oh, he tried. He tried, he did try. All right, Especially with the shield so small too. That's good. Wow, Usually like one would expect the forward tilt there, especially with Roy liking like, like to go for sliding forward tilt. But the up tilt, that would be a difficult one to be eye at all. Even if you could survive. That's still a really good sh Ooh, Wow, he made it back. All right. I still like how his, his Roy was smooth in just a moment ago. I like that pivot into up tilt. It was unexpected. And B-E-A. This is, this is pretty much two Roy combos from Cyro able to make a comeback. Oh, but unfortunately, Eon making that gap much bigger. It's going to watch out on the recovery. Neutral get up is going to be caught by Jit right grab. At this point, Cyro feels more of the heat from Fox than he does from Roy. I want that option. Changing it up here. Can't take back center stage here, but he's barely able to survive and grab it. Has to retreat back to the ledge. This is the thing, too, is that Eon knows if I let him have center stage too long, he slowly starts to take control. I need to make sure he has to go back to the right or the left. If he, does, if he didn't, then he probably has to This actually is really close. Cryo has to be absolutely careful. Yeah. See? No. Oh, he spaced the wrong he, option. He spaced himself out so well that if he were to go for a neutral oh, getup, he can come in for a grab. Mission if he were to go for a jump getup, he can get in for the back air. Or he can actually just read the roll getup. So what an exciting set from Eon and Cryo. Mm -hmm. Those both games to both. Cyro. I love Cyro. Sorry. Cyro. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's you're all good, bro. Don't worry about it. Killed my mood for it because I mispronunciate names. I know I'm tired, man. I got to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Sniff, rip all the early morning work people. I know that life, dude. Getting up in the morning, facing LA traffic. It ain't fun. No. It ain't fun. Nah, bro. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't cheap living in SoCal, dude. Nah. Nah, it ain't, my guy. But, uh, but enough about the SoCal life. I was just trying to say about mm -hmm. that set. That was absolutely incredible. I loved game three, Fox versus Falco. Actually, that was game two. I'm yeah, that was game three. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That was absolutely the most entertaining set that I've seen tonight. Yeah. And and I don't think I'll see anything more entertaining it, than that tonight. It's it's definitely oh man, the night is still young, man. It's barely it's barely eleven ten. Then again, it's a Monday.